this is uh, Diggy Michigan here, and um, today we will be doing another video, well, the first video. Um, sorry about the red light, by the way, that's just like something that's happening with the camera. I'll fix that in the next video, but so far, uh, we're searching a small penny, uh, a piggy bank. Next we got a 74, next we got a 79, oh, by the way, the uh, 74 is a D, next is a 1978, unmarked. Next we have a 1974, next we have a rather surprising one, 1986D, pretty good shape though, that's like a keeper for me, it's a keeper, as you can see, um, next we have a 1985 in good quality, haven't gotten a better quality one of those yet, and again I just started coin collecting, I mean penny collecting, just like, like, uh, a week ago. Um, next we have a 1986D, which is a duplicate. I'll look for errors on these, of course, off camera, and show you any errors that we have. Not any that are poking out to me. 2007D, not the best quality, uh, so I would keep it. 1967D, I mean 1967 unmarked. A 1986D, a 1981D. It's actually in pretty good quality for copper. So we might keep that one. Uh, um, got a 1998. Pretty bad quality. I've seen good quality ones. 1985. Uh, unmarked. We got a 1981 unmarked, which is actually a really good quality, so I'll be keeping that one. So, yeah. Um, up next, we have a 1978. Decent quality, might keep it. Um, 1980, 1985. I'm always looking for those 1985s with the, um, mark on them. Uh, we got the 1977, we got the 1983, good quality except for that little thing right there, um, hmm. 1967 up here, might just, nah, never mind. I was just gonna say it's good quality, so I may keep it. Unmarked. We had a 1986D. Um, not too good for keeps. Okay, up next we have a 2007D. Not good quality. We had a 2000, uh, 1986D. Not too good. Uh, we had a 1966 unmarked. Uh, it's got some smudge marks, so I'm not going to keep that one. 
We had a 1968. Uh, it's pretty good quality except for the um, top. We had a 1984 D. Pretty good quality, so keep it. We had a 1989 unmarked. Pretty good quality, so I guess I'll keep it. Okay, so next we have a 1996 nickel. And just a newer quarter. Another newer quarter. We had a 1963D. Not the best quality though. Um, okay. But up next we got a 1981D. Uh, not good quality. 1985 unmarked. Not good quality. We got a 1980. Ooh, that's kind of a surprising one for that good of a quality. It's copper. Um, 1983, we got a, I'm really into those S's by the way, don't find too many of them though, just I feel that way, we got a 1968 D, we got a 1975 unmarked, get this really good quality one, let's flip it over. And it is a 1984 unmarked, which we have a 1984 D, so that's a new one, you can see. It's kind of fast camera work, so I'm sorry about that. We had a 1978 unmarked, 1974 D, 1968 D, sorry if I repeat some, 1981 D, um, 1983D uh, unmarked, 1982 unmarked, we got 1974D, 1984D, 1986D, 1981D, eh, not worth keeps. 1972D, 1977D, 1969D, that's a decent quality one, 1983D, 1980D, 1985D, 1975D, and a 1982D. Least we have a 1978D. So from that, we got a few keeps. We got a 1947 um, Canadian. We got a 1980s, two 1986Ds. Actually, quite nice. Um, up next, we have 1985T, which is nice quality. 1981D, nice quality yet again. 1984D, uh, a, oh yeah, that's 1981 unmarked, by the way. 1984, um, unmarked. 1980D, and a 1989 unmarked. So, yeah, I guess that's a pretty good, uh, haul for such a small piggy bank. We, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and we got, um, so we got one, two good quality coppers, two good quality coppers, and the rest are just zincs, but they're still good quality, like to think that this one right here is 35 years old, it's just insane, so, um, yeah, guys. Uh, see you guys in the next video.